Hey friends, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're kicking off our spring cleaning 2020 by doing an extreme whole house cleaning marathon. I'm bringing you over an hour of deep cleaning motivation, after dark cleaning, car cleaning, decluttering, organizing, laundry, kitchen, bathrooms, you name it, we're covering it today. I love these style videos because you can put me up on your TV, get a bunch of stuff done around your own home, and you don't have to worry about finding more than one video to watch. I also threw in some of my older content in here, so it'll be a fun throwback. I just took clips from videos, not the entire video itself, so it's like a cleaning video remix but I can guarantee that it is jam packed with so much cleaning motivation. So make sure you clean along with me and let's go ahead and get this party started. Okay friends, so the first thing that we're gonna tackle today is deep cleaning my couches in my family room. I have an upholstery attachment on my carpet cleaner that I use probably about once a quarter or so. It just depends on the mess, but I am shampooing these with um, some laundry detergent, Dawn dish soap, and a little bit of fabric softener. I'm using the Method. It is the ginger mango scent and it smells so, so good, but I'm just gonna go to town on these and get them all clean. Showing off, don't wanna have to wait tonight, wait tonight. Better off. Now that I have given the couches a good vacuum and scrub down, I'm taking a tiny little razor. It's one of those um, eyebrow razors that you can get pretty much anywhere nowadays. And I am cutting off all the tiny little fuzz balls um, and it really just makes the couch look and feel like new. It's amazing. I'm just taking everything off the side tables and I'm giving everything a good wipe down with the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the mint scent. Believe it or not, this fireplace actually gets really dirty. Um, my kids always stand on it with their little feet um, and they're always dancing on it or pretending that it's a stage. And so I have to give it a good wipe down probably once a week. So that's what I'm doing here. That candle is sugared lemon zest. I believe it's from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good. Usually on the same days that I clean the 
couches, I go ahead and give the carpets a really good deep steam clean. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just taking my time, getting every little nook and cranny, and it's seriously the most satisfying thing in the entire world. And actually, I chose this steam cleaner. I believe it is called the Bissell Pet Pro because it's one of the only few that I found that still works and is easy to use like a vacuum. Um, super duper easy and fairly inexpensive. So I'll definitely link it down below for you guys. Um, it's seriously one of the best purchases I've made when it comes to cleaning. Alrighty guys, moving right along, this is an after dark clean with me, and this is actually footage that has never been seen before, so it is technically new footage. I had filmed a huge after dark clean with me a few nights ago and lost a bunch of the footage, which was really disappointing, but I still wanted to include some of these clips in here for you guys so you get some fresh content as well. But on this particular night, I decided to deep clean my guest room as well as the guest bathroom because we had someone staying with us the following day so that's what I'm doing here I was just putting fresh linens here on the bed and then I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the dresser and get everything wiped down I love after dark cleaning it is so relaxing to me and therapeutic there's nothing like bringing peace back into your home at nighttime when your little ones are asleep at this point I think my husband was even asleep and I can just enjoy my time take my time cleaning because I feel like I'm always be cleaning during the day and just be able to get what I want done and if this cleaning video happens to be the first time that you're watching my channel I just quickly wanted to say welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Amy and I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids, Emma, Grayson, and Graham. They are four, two, and one. And here on my channel, my content is all about homemaking. That is my heart and my passion. I love to keep a tidy home. I love home decor and I love just bringing peace back into my home for my family. And if you happen to like what you see today, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below. I would absolutely love to have you join my YouTube family. It would mean the world to me. And make sure you say hi in the comments and introduce yourself. Okay, you guys saw me show you that was the Aunt Fanny's bathroom cleaner. I love using it on my vanities and sink area. It is made with vinegar, so it does smell like vinegar. So if you don't like that scent, you probably wouldn't like the product, but I will say it works really, really well. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and take out the trash and then I'm going to scrub this tub in the tile because it has been longer than I want to admit. So today I am gonna go ahead and use the Clorox bathroom cleaner. It has lemon scent in it just because I saw so much grime and gunk, I just needed to use the harsh stuff. And I'm also using my Clorox toilet wand on my tub first. This is a little cleaning bathroom cleaning hack for you. I love to use this before I use it on the toilet and just use it to scrub all the products, really get it in there, and I feel like it does a really good job. Now that the bathroom is all squeaky clean, I'm gonna go ahead and light a candle in here. This scent is called Fresh Oranges. It smells amazing. Um, but now that my bathroom is all tidy and ready to go for guests, I'm gonna move along and get some laundry done. At nighttime, if I get behind on laundry, I really like to tackle a load or two. And lately, I have been washing everyone's clothes separately. So here you see me doing a load of just Grayson's clothes. And for whatever reason, I am really liking this method. I typically just sort by color and that kind of thing, but sorting by person has worked really well for me. 
And now I have several loads of laundry to fold. I'm watching Heart of Dixie right now. It's actually the second time I'm watching it through, so I'm not a newbie to the show. I just really love it, and it's been a few years, and I started season one several weeks ago, and I'm so happy I did. No regrets. Does anybody else love this show? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I had already mopped my dining room area and now I'm going to quickly pick up in here and mop in my front room as well as by my entryway. Um, I like to do this before I have guests and by my entryway table. So just gonna get this part of the home mopped. I like to always mop in sections because my main living area is pretty big and doing the entire thing always seems a little bit daunting to me. So that's what I'm doing on this particular night and then we'll go ahead and move on. One won't go away Wide awake with an open mind Looking out from a mountain high I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out But I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away so I changed up my entryway table again. It will be in my next spring decorating video. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But now we are moving on to the kitchen and we are gonna give this kitchen a major deep clean today. So if you need some motivation, make sure you keep on watching. It's so funny how you can think a space is clean and then when you take a really good close look, especially when you have a white kitchen, it is amazing how dirty these cabinets and this backsplash gets. There were fingerprints, there were food splatters everywhere, and I just really took my time and got in every nook and cranny, wiped down every single knob, and I just, I don't do this all the time, so since I was taking the time to deep clean, I really tried to be thorough and wipe everything down. I know sometimes it can be really challenging to find the motivation to tackle projects like this, but I just wanted to encourage you and remind you that whenever you stop by my channel, I hope you feel like you have a friend that you can put up on your iPad or on your phone or on your TV and I'm here to clean along with you. I'm here to keep you company while you're getting chores done around the house and that just know you have a friend in me. So make sure you're saying hi in the comments if you haven't before. I would love to get to know you and know where you're from and I hope again that whenever you stop by my channel, you leave feeling more encouraged than when you left because there is nothing worse than watching somebody else's YouTube video or reading a blog or seeing an Instagram post and feeling like you're not adequate or feeling like you're comparing or or whatever that feeling may be. I know for me that can be a struggle and I never ever want that to be the case here. Sure, I love showing you guys home decor inspiration or what I'm doing around my house or whatever that is, but that is solely to inspire you and encourage you, never to um, make you feel like you're not doing enough or whatever that might look like. Because sure, on the surface, it can look like us as cleaning YouTubers, like we have it all together and a home is always clean, but I can promise you that is not farther from the truth. My house gets messy every day, all day. I have three young kids and it's a constant struggle. YouTube is what motivates me and encourages me to keep going and connecting with you guys is what encourages me to keep going as well. So 
Anyway, I just wanted to say that I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are and just know that you're enough, that you're doing a great job and that you can always stop by my channel for some motivation. I wanted to mention, in case anyone was wondering, I'm also using that same Thieves household cleaner for all of my stainless steel. Um, I am loving this product for literally every surface in my home these days. And for me to say I like it on stainless steel is a big deal because, as you guys know, I have little kids, so I have little fingerprints on everything. And it really does a great job of getting everything streak free and shiny and just looking really clean. I will follow you wherever. Now that my kitchen is completely wiped down, all of the surfaces, everything in here minus the floors, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my decor back. I really like a minimal aesthetic when it comes to my kitchen decor. I don't like to add a ton of clutter in here, but I like to add enough to keep it interesting and add pops of texture and greenery. I'm a huge fan of greenery, obviously, from all of the greenery you can see in this shot alone. But um, now that all of that is put back, I'm going to light a candle and I'm lighting the Sugar Lemon Zest from Bath & Body Works. It literally smells so, so good, especially with all that lemon essential oil that I used. And now that the candle is lit and everything is feeling so fresh and clean, I'm going to quickly sweep and mop up the floors. I decided really quick before I mop the floors that I'm going to wipe down my kitchen table really fast. And of course, Graham made an appearance. I love when he wakes up from his nap and he is smiley and happy and just wants to play with mama. Look at him waving there. How funny is that? Um, but I always, from the time all my kids are babies, I love to just kind of play with them and talk to them while I'm doing housework. And that way they just get used to me doing it and that whenever I am cleaning around the house, it's just kind of a part of life and they are more apt to just kind of play independently or just kind of hang out with me, clean along with me. It's just normal life around here. And then I realized while I was cleaning up the table, there was a spill the night before I forgot to clean up. It was just um, baby oatmeal. <laughs> and so I needed to vacuum the rug really well. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and mop the floors. Today I'm using my Oceder mop. This is my favorite mop that I've ever had. I've only had it for a couple of months but I will never go back to a different kind of mop. I love this thing and I just filled it with really hot water and then I bought a new floor cleaner. It's the Counter Culture brand and it's in the lemongrass scent. It's infused with lemongrass essential oils and again, kind of going with that lemon theme today, smelt amazing wiping down all my floors. Behind I hate to separate my body and mind Enjoy today's video.
video and that you've got a ton of cleaning, organizing, and decluttering motivation for your kitchen and your entire house. If you did like this video, please do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. That really helps me out. And I know that there are hundreds and thousands of cleaning channels out there. So the fact that you stopped by mine today really does mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you all really soon in the next. Now that you've got your kitchen cleaning motivation, let's move on to toy clutter. Today we are decluttering and cleaning up our playroom. This is in our basement and it gets messy all the time. So I'm just picking everything up with my little buddy Grayson here. Watching back this clip was just an instant reminder of how messy and mundane motherhood and homemaking really is, right? For every mess that we pick up, our kids make three more messes. But you know what? That's okay. Because when they're making messes, they're making memories, they're learning, they're growing, they're exploring, and we're making memories with them. And when it's clean and all picked up, even if that's just for five minutes, they have peace. They see that their mommy cares about them, that their mommy is there for them and with them, and that it matters. This is an area of our home that we use so much. We live in the basement most of the time and this little table area is where we do a lot of our coloring and play-doh playing and eventually it will be like a homework area for the kids and I just love it so much and I'm so thankful for it. husband is in the theater room in there and that's where you see Grayson going they're just watching a movie with Emma um, but we love that room as well we've got a projector screen and it's all set up and awesome maybe I'll have to do a little clean with me in there soon so you guys can see it um, but we bought this house almost a year ago and we love it we love this basement space but ideally we would um, replace the concrete floors with carpet so that it's a little cozier. Oh, and there on the wall you see some beautiful artwork by my daughter. We still have to touch that up. Oh, gotta love her. Now that the playroom is all clean, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up our man cave slash movie room. This is right off of the playroom and I love this space. We use it all the time. We watch movies down here, but it gets really messy. But today I'm just giving everything a wipe down. I'm gonna vacuum these floors because they always get messy and then we'll go ahead and move on. Just 
today I'm gonna go ahead and start my deep clean in the front room. I was so excited to tackle this because I haven't given it a deep clean since I did my spring cleaning. It feels like it's been way too long. But I'm gonna to start today just by removing all of the cushions off of the chairs and ottomans. And then I'm gonna throw those right into the wash and they come out clean every time. It's one of the best things about having the Ikea Ektorp chairs. I highly recommend them, especially if you have kids. Um, but then I'm also gonna go ahead and just strip everything down to the bare bones, dust everything, vacuum, and just get everything really clean. As much as I love decorating for this seasons, I really don't enjoy it if my house isn't completely clean and in order. So I am so happy that I tackled all of this today. It really did give me so much peace and I really am able to enjoy it that much more. I feel like people always ask me when they come over, where the heck do you keep your toys? It doesn't even look like you have kids. And that is because I try really hard to store everything in closed containers so you cannot see them. So these ottomans are a great use of space. This is where I keep Grayson's trucks. He loves to just kind of pull them out throughout the day and then they're really easy to put away when he's dead. My crown molding and the tops of my windows had just a ton of dust and cobwebs so it felt really good to just vacuum them away but I'm also going to go ahead and take off my window panes and give the windows a really good washing. Today I'm using the Aunt Fanny's cleaning vinegar and it did a really great job. These were just a few decor pieces that I didn't put away with my summer decor. I left out because I knew I would use them throughout the year. So I'm just wiping those down as well as this little table with the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the apple cider scent. I just want to hold you. And moving on to this little bench, I'm doing the exact same thing, just taking some of the decor off that I'm keeping out, wiping it down, and getting it really clean. I also went ahead and cleaned the window pane. It was super dusty. You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. You are, 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 you are the solution. You are the solution. Fix your eyes on. And now I am mopping all of my floors using my Bissell steam mop. I'm just using hot water in the mop, but I'm also spraying the floors with the Bona hardwood floor spray. That way everything gets really shiny and really clean.
Now we're on to a different video, but we're in the same area and I'm going to go ahead and put all of the chairs up and get these floors clean. The first thing I'm going to do is just sweep up all of the dust and crumbs. We eat in here a lot and then I'm going to use my O Cedar mop and get everything clean. I believe on this day I was probably using the counterculture concentrated floor cleaner and the lemongrass scent. I love this stuff. I've been loving it pretty much since about Christmas time. Since I met you for the first time. Okay, you guys, so at this point, we are about halfway through the marathon. I hope that you are enjoying all of this cleaning motivation and that you're getting up and you're cleaning along with me. There's about 30 minutes left, so it's not too late. Why don't you go ahead and head to your kitchen or your family room, maybe the playroom, and pick up for the next 30 minutes and you will feel so much better. And now we are in my master bedroom and I'm gonna start cleaning in here just by making my bed. This Victorian farmhouse style bedding is from Ikea and it was less than $50. So if you're looking for a good duvet, I definitely recommend Ikea. And these Euro shams that you're gonna see here in a second with the ruffles, they are on my Amazon storefront. So make sure you go check them out if you have any questions. But I love to make my bed every single day. When I wake up in the morning, if it's the first thing I do, I always feel so much better and it makes the morning feel a lot more productive. Get to know you better. Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for credit? And now that my bed is made, I'm just gonna quickly wipe down all of the surfaces here, my dresser, chest of drawers, side tables, that kind of thing. And if you've noticed, it's pretty bare on here. I'm actually getting ready to do a clean and decorate for spring master bedroom edition. If you're interested in that, definitely be on the lookout for it. I can't wait to have this area decorated for spring. This candle that I'm lighting is called Sea Island Blossom, and I think it is my favorite spring scent this year. It is very floral, but it has a little bit of coconut. It just smells so, so good. I love having it lit up here in my master bedroom. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. I love to open these windows up and let the fresh light in, especially in the morning time. It's so cozy up here. This is where I get a lot of my work done, so I love to spend time up here. But once I opened those windows, I realized how dusty everything in this sitting area was. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything down in here as well, and then I'm gonna finish by giving everything a really good vacuuming. My son Graham always chases me around with this vacuum. It's the funniest thing. He just turned one and he is just a little stinker, but 
I love him. And now that my room is all freshly vacuumed and it's clean and everything is put away, I'm gonna go ahead and do another quick load of laundry. I think this is load number three or four in this video. Plenty of laundry motivation for you because I know mamas, it feels like we're doing laundry all day long. But my best tip is just do one load a day, crank it out, get it washed first thing in the morning, fold it, put it away, and you'll be so glad that you did. But once I go ahead and finish this laundry, we're gonna move on to a serious master bathroom called Mari and Declutter, so I hope you enjoy it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this bathroom KonMari declutter, reorganize, and clean. I'm also gonna be doing my master suite and closet, so stay tuned for that. Get that hair up in a messy bun and let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold, said we loved one another. So I'm starting today just by organizing my top drawer which carries all of my skincare. And I really went through, took out every product and just reevaluated my routine and just kind of figured out what products do I really use every single day. I really wanted to minimize this especially as a busy mom. I feel like I had so many products that I just rarely use to be honest with you guys. So I went through and brought it down to the bare bones and I'm super happy with it. I love how simple and decluttered it felt. And now I'm moving on to my next drawer which is my makeup drawer. And it's just awful you guys. I think I ended up getting rid of about 75% of my makeup because again, I just didn't use it. Somebody else can use it and that just makes me really happy to know that it's not gonna just be sitting in a drawer collecting dust. So just kind of organizing that. That pouch is gonna hold all the products that I use every single day and then behind it that bin just has all of my palettes that bin that's in my hand I'm just going through on my countertop and collecting makeup and skincare that I don't use that I'm gonna go ahead and donate and if you like what you see today and you like decluttering organizing and cleaning videos make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below And now I'm still just cleaning out under my sink. Those two bins there are still my donate bins. One is makeup and one is skincare. I ended up needing two. That's how much I decluttered today. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to touch? I met you in the summer. I decided to go ahead and put my hair products on one side of the sink, like my hairspray and sprays that are tall that can't fit in a drawer. And then on the other side of the sink, I'm gonna go ahead and keep some staple cleaning products that I use in the bathroom several times a week. while I am in the thick of decluttering I wanted to ask you guys what is your ride or die makeup product like if you were stranded on a desert island and you could only take one makeup product with you what would it be I'm dying to know let me know in the comments below So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pick everything up off of the floor. You guys, this is so disgusting. 
for some reason we accumulate laundry here we accumulate kids toys because my kiddos are always playing in here while I'm getting ready and just all of the things I don't know but I'm getting it all picked up and squared away before I go ahead and tackle my closet most of these clothes are clothes that I just never put away or I tried on a million outfits on a day and just never hung anything back up. I am really bad at that, so it feels really good to get everything up off the floor and put away. Usually by the end of the day when I'm done cleaning up all of my main living spaces and all of the kids' rooms and doing laundry, I just don't even care about my own room. I'll just shut the door and say tomorrow, which sometimes is okay, but then things like this happen where it gets way out of hand and you just gotta tackle it and you gotta put yourself first. And I have to say, it feels so, so good to do this. It feels good to get uh, my closet just back in order. However, I do wanna say, I definitely wanna do a closet makeover here in the next couple of months. I noticed that like, even though everything is picked up and put away, it's looking kind of grungy, like my hangers don't match, and I definitely need some like organizational systems in place, maybe a tall dresser or something, I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to do that and I'll definitely film it. Since I have all of this extra space up here, I just go ahead and hang all of my scarves on the top rack. Um, and then here on this bottom shelf, I just go ahead and fold all of my sweatshirts and my jeans. Usually like three or four times a year, I go through my closet and just declutter it and get rid of like two or three bags of clothes. I don't know how I accumulate so many of those bags because I feel like I don't do that much shopping. But I guess as time goes on, you just like things less and less so you're more apt to get rid of them. But it always feels really good. I did that in the spring and I'm thinking I'll definitely do it before the holidays. Okay, so now that we have everything put away, already feeling so much better, I'm gonna take some Clorox bathroom cleaner and I'm just going to wipe down all of the surfaces, really disinfect and get everything nice and clean. I'm also gonna be using the Method Glass and Surface to go ahead and wipe down my mirrors. I basically doused my countertops and sinks with bleach because it just needed a really good disinfecting, especially with flu season among us. I just don't want to even risk getting sick yet and I just wanted to get this really clean and it felt so good to get it done and have my countertops free and clear of clutter. I bought these soap dispensers at Home Goods a while back and I always use the Method hand soap refills to just go ahead and refill those as they empty out. moving everything back onto the countertops and lighting a candle and it is already feeling spa like in here but now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other side of the bathroom and disinfect my bathtub and my shower door and my toilet
right now I'm going to go ahead and shake off the rugs and get everything up off the floors and give the floors a really good sweep and mop. Bona mop and spray for tile floors and it doesn't really have a scent so I went ahead and added some peppermint essential oils to that cleaning pad and that gave my bathroom like a really nice spa like feel and scent and it just smelled so good. And last but not least I'm just gonna go ahead and spray down all of the doorknobs and just the entire bathroom with this seventh generation disinfecting spray. Just like that, I have a nice, clean, decluttered bathroom and it feels amazing. But now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the kids' bedrooms. Right along upstairs. The first room I'm gonna tackle is Grayson's room and like I mentioned before, I kind of come up here about once a week and I'll just refresh all the bedrooms. I don't spend hours and hours. This probably took me an hour total to do all three of their rooms, but I'll pick up any toys, I'll make their bed for them, I'll wipe down surfaces and vacuum. Now I do typically have my kids help me clean on a daily basis, but once a week, mama comes in here and gets everything back in order. We moved Grayson to a big boy bed about four or six weeks ago, and I love it. I think it's so cute. The bed and the bedding are both from Pottery Barn Kids. I got a Black Friday deal on it, so I was super excited for that score. He loves all things cars, trucks, planes, so he loves it too. So I'm currently working on a serious organization decluttering project in my basement and in my storage room and during this process I've been filming it it'll be out in the next couple of weeks so be on the lookout for it I'm really excited to share it but while I was going through everything and organizing everything I found so many baby clothes and toddler clothes and it made me so emotional and it really got me thinking about how quickly the kids are growing up and how much I want them to just stay little forever. But it was great because I actually found a bunch of clothes that were Grayson's that now fit Graham, and so that was a total score. But now I'm just gonna quickly wipe down his dresser and his bed frame, and then I'm gonna vacuum in here. Still got your pearls hanging by my bed. I forgot to say that before I vacuum, I'm quickly just gonna come in here and wipe down the surfaces in the boys' bathroom. It's between their bedrooms, it's a Jack and Jill, but I'm using my Thieves household cleaner. I'm still loving this, and I get so many questions about that and all my diffusers and oils. So I wanted to tell you guys, I promise I'm not trying to be salesy, but I have a link in my description just for those of you that do have questions and wanna check them out. And moving right along to Emma's room, she got new frozen sheets recently from Pottery Barn Kids. Again, I found them on a crazy sale after Christmas, so I was really excited about that. She was so excited when I brought them home. We just went and saw Frozen 2 about a week ago, and I cannot believe how good it was. I was seriously like on the edge of my seat the entire movie, but I'm kind of a sucker for Disney movies, especially when they're princess movies. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite Disney movie?
magic stop for us. So I recently picked up some velvet hangers from Home Goods for Emma's room and they were super inexpensive. I was so excited when I found them, but I'm just putting all of her clothes, transferring them onto those hangers, and then I'm rearranging her closet by color. And I wish I would have done this sooner. I did this in my closet and it feels so much more organized. I don't know what it is, but once I'm done, you'll see here it looked and turned out really good. I just wanted to remind you guys that we are about halfway through this video at this point and if you're sitting down drinking a cup of coffee enjoying yourself why don't you go ahead and get up and set a 10 minute timer or watch the rest of this video and get something down really quick it's amazing just 10 minutes of productivity can really trigger productivity for the rest of the day so get up get moving get cleaning and get something done You guys have heard me talk a little bit in this new year how I'm trying really hard to keep the home clean at all times and by that I just mean picked up and not perfect by any means but just in a livable state to where if somebody were to stop by at this very moment my house would be presentable that kind of clean and the reason I have really been striving for this is not for anybody else even though that was just my example but for me, because when my kids' rooms are clean, when my room is clean, when the downstairs main living area is clean, we all have so much more peace in our hearts. We don't seem to be as snappy with one another. I don't get as stressed out. I feel like I'm just a better mom. So I'm doing it for me. I'm also doing it for my kids, obviously, because I want them to have a mama that is not stressed out all the time. But I just wanted to let you guys know that because I know I've made that comment several times and I never want you guys to think that I'm just doing it for YouTube or for whatever reason. Like I'm really, really just trying to keep my home at a maintained level of clean so that we're all just better off and happier with our day. Then you took my hand said let's leave now. And now I'm in baby Graham's room and I'm just quickly going to strain up his crib and wipe it down because he is at that age where he will stand at it for long periods of time if he hasn't fallen asleep yet or he'll chew on the rails. You'll see my face there. I thought that was so funny. I noticed a bunch of bite marks that I didn't notice before and I was really grossed out. But yes, just wiping it down again with that thieves cleaner because it's kid friendly and it's actually really good for his immune system. And now I am just going to wipe down the changing area. Ugh, as you can see, it must have been a rough night because I didn't even throw that diaper away, but that's just real mom life. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my complete disaster minivan. Holy smokes, you guys. This thing has gotten way out of hand. I've totally let it go this summer. So I figured it was time to give it a full detail from the inside out. And I figured since I was doing this anyway, why not bring you along with me and give you some car cleaning motivation? So let's go ahead and dive right into it. The first thing I'm doing is going ahead and collecting all of the trash and clutter and toys and shoes and all of the things, y'all. The things that you find in the back of your minivan when you clean it out. It is so gross, real life, but anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle that first. So we bought this Honda Odyssey right after we had our second son, Grayson, and it was such a game changer for our family. If you have babies and toddlers and little ones, it is so convenient to have the space and the pilot seats. I will probably never drive anything other than a minivan now that I have one as long as I have kids. 
But I know it's kind of a hot topic, so let me know in the comments below. Are you a minivan mom or an SUV mom or maybe you're something else? I'm really curious. Let me know. Because there were so much dirt and crumbs in the back of this minivan, I went ahead and used my Dyson first before I went in and shampooed um, the carpets and the seats. I didn't want anything getting sucked up into my carpet cleaner, so that's just what you see me doing here. I'm also going to go ahead and spot clean the car seats as well. We don't need nobody else. I got you. And you got me too. And now that I have vacuumed everything up, I'm taking some Spick and Span. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's a disinfectant spray, but it's very gentle. So I'm using it on the interior of my car, on the dashboard, on the handles, on the seat belts, pretty much anything that our hands come in contact with, I am wiping down, including the inside of the windows because my little ones like to use their grimy little hands and just leave lots of smudges and handprints. So it felt really good to get all of that clean and disinfected. If you enjoy cleaning motivation and you like what you see today, make sure you hit that little red subscribe button down below. I would absolutely love it if you would consider joining my YouTube family. I think that would be super cool. And I also just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today. It really does mean a lot to me. Okay, real talk moment when I dropped my kiddos off at preschool this morning. They have carpool, which is super nice, so I don't have to get out of the car. But their teachers see the inside of our car, and just kind of seeing them see my car, I was like, okay, it's time to clean. I have just been on the hot mess express lately, getting used to getting up and getting them out the door quickly. I'm still kind of in summer mode, so I apologize for my appearance today, but at least I'm getting my act together and I'm getting this minivan clean. I will say I'm glad that I went with the messy bun leggings look for today's video because if I had gotten cute, everything would have just melted off with sweat. Oh my goodness. It was like over 90 degrees when I filmed this. It was so hot. I wish that fall would come here in Atlanta, but we still have a ways to go, I think. This little crevice of the exterior never gets cleaned at the car wash because it's under the door. So I went ahead and wiped that down and I'm gonna show you here in a second. That is so gross, you guys. I like to keep a little extra car toy and pacifier in the back of the seat right by Graham's car seat. He's eight months old and it just comes in handy on those times that he is fussy and I need to keep him entertained in the car. And now I'm starting with shampooing the carpets and the chairs. I have the Bissell Pet Pro carpet cleaner and it has an upholstery attachment. So I always just go ahead and use this in my car and it works so well. Y'all, it's hot. As I mentioned before, I am just spot cleaning the car seats today because they weren't that bad. I will take them out and wash the covers probably realistically once or twice a year and then I just spot clean in between and that just seems to work well for us. And this little hook I bought on Amazon, I'll definitely link it down below if I can find it, but it's great just to hang my purse or diaper bag or the kids backpacks. And I also like to keep a diaper caddy in my back trunk area. And in here, I'll just keep extra diapers, wipes, sunscreen, hand sanitizer, and a spare outfit for all three of my kiddos, just in case. I rarely use this, but you just never know, and it's always good to be prepared. 
And last but not least, I'm just going ahead and spraying the entire minivan down with some Febreze. I also wanted to show you that I bought a new car scent at Bath & Body Works and I got the pumpkin apple for fall. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that I brought you some serious car cleaning motivation and I just hope that you're having a great day wherever you are and I'll see you all really soon in the next one. Okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this marathon clean with me. I hope that I brought you so much spring cleaning motivation to tackle your bedrooms, your kitchen, your living room, all the spaces in your home this spring season. And if you did like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button on your way out. That really does help my channel out. And I just wanted to take a second and say thank you all so much for 20,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that we have reached this milestone already. And I just wanted to say a big thank you. I hope you guys know how much I love and appreciate you all. And don't worry, there will be a giveaway really, really soon. But anyways, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Until then, happy cleaning. Bye guys.